in this topic we want to uh, explore the basic function of uh, delta v a DCS platform uh, we want to develop a very simple binary program and uh, create a graphic graphic page um, related to that and link them um, finally function test as you can see there is no actual controller here and uh, we, we use this uh, uh, station the, this computer for simulating purposes uh, if you have any controller it will be a bit, uh, it will be um, it will be here you can you can commission it and uh, it can be available in control uh, network we don't have any controller and uh, we use the, this uh, local PC for simulating purposes uh, Delta V has very common uh, features with, uh, with PC7, PC7 is a uh, DC platform for Siemens. I, I have worked with a PC7 for a long time, so uh, when I encounter these similarities, uh, I, I will learn, I learn this uh, platform much easier. Uh, the first uh, step we can create the plant hierarchy here. We just skip a Keep the project very simple. We insert a control module, a binary uh, logic development, and uh, after finishing the program, we create the graphic page. First, uh, right click and uh, open the logic with Control Studio. Here we go to logical and insert a flip flop. I uh, insert a, a reset prior flip flop. How can I distinguish between these two? The 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 black color in background in, in our section uh, indicates that it's a R prior. So. This is our prior flip flop, and uh, I need uh, some internal input and output signals. I insert a Boolean reset signal and connect it to reset input, and also I need a set signal. A binary set signal and connect, connect it to set input. For the output, I I need to use the output parameter. I change the name to lamp and it's a boolean signal. I connect it to the lamp and. I save the changes. Uh, logic is developed. Next step is to assign the logic to the available controller. As I told, uh, we have only uh, this PC here to uh, function test the logic. I uh, performed the assignment. You can also check the assigned modules here. download so the bin one the binary logic is available uh, in the simulating controller the next step is to function test the uh, logic by going online 
and uh, you need to uh, make all parameters available here and find the set and reset and lamp signals first we toggle set to true the output is true the lamp is true then we toggle reset and the output should be false because set is prior then we uh, toggle reset to false the output is true because set is active and reset is uh, false and we toggle set to false and the output should uh, the output should remain true because it's a memory function and it keeps the uh, previous uh, status the logic is um, simulated the next step is to uh, create a graphic page uh, related to this uh, simple logic. For graphic uh, page, we should go to applications, Delta V operate configure. We insert a new picture. In this new picture, we need a circle for the lamp indication and of in the animation, we select color for foreground, search for uh, delta v, for tagging delta v database, we select uh, lamp signal here and when the lamp signal is zero, the color is red and when it's True, the color is green. And the the circle is the programming of the circle is finished here. The next step is to insert a push button. One button for set signal. Set signal and uh, it's possible to create a command here it's, it's possible to create a command just by right click and select animations and on command we select uh, toggle digital signal search for set tag and by pressing this button, we we toggle, we toggle, we toggle the set signal. Toggle means uh, when it's pressed, just changing the status. If it if the signal is zero, we change it to one, and we should press again to change the change the status from one to zero. In this example, we, we just only want uh, want to. Um, I want a momentary signal, a short pulse. So uh, we need to, it's not possible to create a short pulse with this capability. We need to uh, do it in uh, VB script. In VB script, uh, you can see that the, the program is developed for clicking and just toggling. Uh, for this button, we can add uh, different uh, events. We can add the event to to react to react to mm, mouse down and we can add the event to react to mouse uh, mouse up. Sorry, mouse up mouse up and toggle this the signal and it's possible to do, delete the rest and we save save the picture as my first
the next step is you can you can hold Control Shift and drag the button to make it to make an exact copy of this the, the button. And we need we change the name. We reset number one. And uh, for button number two, we need to change the change the tag here. We want to re uh, toggle the reset signal. Okay, just um, a final a final check for the name of the variable. Yeah, this is button two. And this is button one. For button two, we want to for button two we want to toggle the reset signal. And for button one, we want to toggle set signal. So save and save the scripts. Um, save the. Uh, graphic page go to run mode and uh, go to go to run mode open picture my first and uh, it's true it's uh, the lamp is uh, enabled and they're energized and I want to reset the lamp so the lamp is reset now it's possible to uh, to check both uh, user program and the uh, the graphic page at the same time. Yeah, it's open. Let's see how how it's possible. Set I press set output is true and I press reset output is false again I press set output is true and I press reset output is false it's also possible to function test here set lamp is green and reset the signal. Mm. Yeah, mm, if it's possible to do anything in the graphic uh, graphic page, but uh, for to for having. For having a momentary signal, you can use uh, this uh, the same the same method. You can use the same method here. Just uh, toggle the signal zero to one, and for resetting the signal to create the pulse, uh, where it's true. Uh, you can use the action block. You can use the action block to uh, write an ex expression to set the signal uh, to zero after it's true. The sequence is uh, the the command is uh, you know is, the command is applied to the logic, and after being applied to the logic uh, it should be reset. Uh, the, the, more, the important uh, point is uh, the important point is to select the uh, execution order correctly here. Uh, you can uh, change the execution order by uh, enabling this um, this uh, set execution or uh, this capability here. So uh, we don't want to use this um, um, action, and uh, the, the the logic that we developed and the graphic we created uh, is working satisfactory. 
you can do it by you, you, you can change the program and the, and change the graphic as as you wish to uh, just to see what uh, what what can what can you you can add or what can you uh, add to improve or to change the functionality. I hope uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, topic. Uh, we will continue to uh, create more uh, Delta V related videos in future, and uh, we will mostly focus on advanced control functions. Uh, please subscribe and ring, ring the bell for new topics.